Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karia. You're watching me on YouTube now. And today I'm gonna take you through how to containerize your fast API with using Docker and Docker Compose. So without wasting any time, let's deep dive into it. So I'm gonna create a new folder on my desktop and I'm gonna name it uh, let's say fast API or yeah, fast API will be better, I guess. And simply drag your folder here and we'll be uh using python uh i'm assuming you already have a python available inside your system if you don't have it what you can do is you can now uh, grab your python uh, before that we also need a docker so please search for docker and you can get your docker from here search for docker desktop you can get your docker from here after that we'll be uh using docker compose so what you can do is you can search for docker compose quickly hit enter and you can see you can click here on docker compose and here we go now you can grab your docker compose from here okay these two things you have to have available inside your system after that um, once you have python available please make sure um, that which version you are using okay so i already have python 3 available so i'll be using python 3 have an am virtual env space v e n v command uh, space dot uh, so sorry uh, it will generate the virtual environment over here okay now i need to uh, activate so source okay then folder name v n v slash bean slash activate okay hit enter this is it now we are uh, will we can proceed with the further things like i can create a main dot pi let's say where uh, i'll be using pip install fast api quickly and you we got okay so this is it i guess this two things are required for proceeding so after that we can also use init dot pi okay so it's all your choice uh, so from fast api uh, import fast api okay then app is equal to fast api and uh, after that we'll be using fast api now uh, what app dot get and uh, simply hello world that i'm trying to create okay so let's say root okay and uh, or whatever it may be you can uh, name it whatever it, uh, like you prefer to use so in return you can return the message or uh, message will be hello world or hello okay this is it this is the best uh simplest example we can say okay so after that what we're gonna do is we are gonna create a uh, docker file okay quickly so in that we need to define the image image is something that uh you can choose from docker hub like uh, python or any specific version okay or any build type like 2.3 hyphen alpine or something like that so uh, i'll stick to normal python version i'm assuming it will return 3 point something 10 3 point 10 something so after that you need to define work directory where you can uh all the things that we are gonna do will uh, it will create an app directory inside your container and inside that app directory only all the further commands will be executed so here you need to define uh first we need to grab the uh requirements.txt which is the uh uh the main file where all the dependencies uh that we can uh install from actually so for that we have a command like pip freeze okay and r e q u r e m e n t s dot t x t okay so it will generate this requirements dot t x t where all the dependencies are given after that what you can do is you can quickly go here and you can copy this thing from here okay so make sure uh to can name it like let me grab this thing okay so 
yeah so from here to here okay like inside your core root directory after that you can run the command the command is very easy i guess so pip install hyphen r and the name of your file like this okay so yeah this is it i guess after that we can proceed with the further things like copy all the things from here to here okay so for that you can also use uh git ignore now dot docker ignore actually okay to ignore few things like v and v let's say okay and uh, likewise you can ignore the things that you don't wanna um copy or something like that so after that you can expose the port expose is something that allows you to of course expose the port you can use uh, whatever port like you want to prefer to use it's all your choice no worries after that what we can create is a uh, docker compose file okay docker compose dot yaml uh, which will be combination of uh, let's say there are lots of uh, containers are out there and you want to merge all container at once so that's why we use docker compose uh, if we are, we are using backend mongodb postgresql so it's easy to build everything with the single command so for that we need a version so i'm assuming 3.8 is okay after that you can define services you can name it whatever it may be let's say app or something like that after that you can define the build path okay build path is of course the current uh, directory where the location of docker file we need to define after that you can define the ports where inside ports you can define uh, like i find 8000 colon 8000 after that what you can do is you can provide the name as well if you want or you can provide the command as well okay so command uh, you guys are familiar with command right uicon space uh, like let's say app is my directory dot the file name colon the function name okay hyphen hyphen host you can define if you want 0 0.0.0.0 hyphen hyphen port you can define if you want by default 8000 is the port so this is it and we can proceed with the docker compose docker compose up okay here we go and it will take a while to grab the dependencies and build the things okay so hopefully i'm missing one more thing over here okay so let me grab quickly so uh nothing is missing almost everything is fine okay now you can see if i go here if i search here uh, you will get this message hello so everything is working fine so thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here let me know what you want from my side definitely i'll make the now useful videos such like that so and uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel if you enjoyed okay so thank you so much all of you guys for being with me thank you very much have a great day